Are you tired of thick candy apples? Or you just don't understand why your candy apples keep coming out so thick and you don't know what to do? Well, say goodbye to thick candy apples and say hello to 641 Candy Apple Recipe. I am the DIY Queen Diva. You no longer have to cut your apple open or hit it with a hammer. Right here is the candy apple pot I've been using since day one in all of my video tutorials. I only use two candy apple pots by the same company and that's Keflon. The only difference is one is 2.5 and the other is 3.5. The link is down below if you would like to purchase this pot from my Amazon bake shop. Why are your candy apples so thick? Because you're not using the correct candy apple recipe for no thick candy apples. I have three no thick candy apple recipes and I'll put those in the description box down below. They are for small batches, medium batches, and large batches. 12 apples, so I'm using the 641 candy apple recipe. That's six cups of sugar, four cups of water, one cup of corn syrup, and one and a half teaspoon of butter vanilla. Here I am adding my Wilton's White to my candy apple mixture and then I am going to use Hobby Lobby's soft pink. So once you stir it should just feel like water. It shouldn't be all thick. Adding that extra water will thin out your candy so your candy apples will not be so thick. Here's Hobby Lobby's soft pink gel food coloring that I am going to add to the candy apple mixture. As you see, I add everything at the beginning. This way I can see what color my apples will turn out to be. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and cook this until it reaches 300 degrees. With this recipe, it takes a little longer to cook, but perfection takes time. And if you want your candy apples to be perfect and not thick, then you must have patience. Now, one thing I can say about this recipe, I can get up to 12 to 24 small apples, 12 medium large apples with no issues without my candy thickening up on me before I am finished dipping. Now, that's one thing I can say about this recipe. You can get these apples dipped without the candy mixture hardening up on you. Unlike some of the other candy apple recipes out there, you know, before you get to the eighth or ninth one, your candy apple mixture is hardening up on you. It's too thick to finish dipping your candy apples. Then you have to reheat the whole entire candy apple mixture and start all the way over. Then you have to wait until your candy apple mixture reaches 300 degrees again for a second time. Now one thing I can guarantee with this candy apple recipe 641, your candy apple mixture will not become thick or harden up on you while you're trying to get to that 12th apple. It's like liquid. It's like water. You can still go beyond 12. I'm going to dip a couple of more extra apples anyways. Like one of my subscribers said, this is a game changer. And this is a game changer. No thick candy apples. And you can get so many candy apples dipped in one batch. I'm not never sleep. I'm always woke. Y'all better wake up. Because any shortcut that I can do with these candy apples, I'm down for it. Like I said, this may take a little longer to cook, but perfection takes time. Perfection takes time. Did you hear me? Perfection takes time. So if you want no thick candy apples, you don't want your candy apples thick, your customers are telling you they don't want their candy apples thick, this is the go-to recipe not only to get the perfect no thick candy apples, but you get so many candy apples dipped in one batch, one pot, no reheating. You will be able to finish dipping your apples. I suggest you use the 641 candy apple recipe if you are looking for no thick candy apples and a lot of apples to dip in one batch. If I have helped you, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Have a great weekend.